Hello High Point fans and followers! Welcome to a new short video series we like to call Press Process. With these videos, High Point staff will show you behind the scenes footage inside the professional shop, or pro shop as we like to call it. We'll share unique processes, challenges, and highlights we've encountered while working with artists to create one-of-a-kind printed editions. everyone, this is Mari from High Point Center for Printmaking. Today, as part of our press process series, we're going to be showing you some behind the scenes videos inside the High Point Editions Pro Shop during the creation of Diani Whitehawk's suite of four prints, Takes Care of Them. Diani explains that the idea for this suite of four dresses came from the honored roles veterans serve within the powwow arena, as well as the practice of asking four veterans to stand in the four cardinal directions during the Wablenija ceremony. She was inspired by the ways that, within our everyday lives, Native women also stand guard, protect, and nurture our well-being. Each print is individually named with a quality that embodies the way women care for us all and aims to acknowledge and show gratitude for the many women in Diani's life who have helped create, nurture, protect, and lead in ways that have taught her what it means to be a good relative. When we first start collaborating with an artist, we like to introduce them to several of the processes we use at High Point Editions, unless the artist or some aspect of their work clearly indicates one process over the others. This initial work is closer to play or experimentation, allowing the artist to get a feel for which media speaks to them. In a way, the process can become a collaboration and it is not unusual for High Point artists to mix more than one printmaking media, like multiple voices in a single song. For this project with Diani, we made screen prints. Diani began the project by looking at plain style women's dentalium dresses, which feature a large neck piece made of dentalium shells. Knowing she wanted to incorporate this element, she first wanted to create a varied shape of color for the dentalium shells to sit on. Using opaque black acrylic paint and a coarse brush, she created five different patterns on different sheets of a frosted drafting film. We transferred these films onto large mesh screens. The pattern marks block light, while the frosted backing material accepts the light and allows the emulsion to harden. We wash away any emulsion that is not hardened, leaving a stencil on our screen. The drawings that did not harden under the light are now open areas of screen mesh, which ink will be pushed through onto paper. These varied patterns are then mixed and matched, and respective to the prints, printed in different shades of gold, blue, green, and red. Together they create a texture reminiscent of felted wool fabric. These brush patterns and colors became the first layers of the print, making up the dress form. No two prints use the same combination of patterns. On the final prints, aligning all four edges of these screens took time and careful registration. Diani used a paintbrush to meticulously paint marks for the dentalium neck piece shapes. These marks were broken into six different shades of off-white and printed using screen printing onto the colored dress form. For more opacity, we printed each color twice, allowing it to dry briefly between the two runs. Here you see an example of us printing the dentalium neck piece and placing it into one drying rack, then pulling from that drying rack to print again and place it into the other drying rack always taking care to keep registration keyed. Once the background and dentalium elements were just right, Diani came into High Point Studio and began work on the ornamentation. Ribbons, paper cutouts, and punched printed paper scraps were collaged onto the proofs while Diani decided on the personality for each dress. From these mocked up proofs, Diani and High Point staff created film positives and tested colors for the artist to approve. The films from these are shot onto screens and printed multiple times in white, various colors, and gloss. For the printed sequins and other foiled ornamentation, we screen printed adhesive. Stamping foil is adhered by pressing it into the adhesive by hand. With so much built up ink in the center of the sheet of the paper, each of the prints had warped. To reduce this warpage, we flatten each sheet. 
To flatten them, we slightly dampen each sheet, allow the fibers to relax, and attach it to gessoed boards to dry. The dampened paper expands slightly and shrinks as it dries. If the edges are attached to a surface, the sheet will pull tight, similar to the skin of a drum. We are using push pins because they are reusable. The downside to this process is sore thumbs and needing to cut off the pinned areas of the sheet when the addition is complete. With the prints flattened, they can be trimmed to their final size and are signed by Diani. This suite, Diani explains, is inspired by plain style women's dentalium dresses. The set speaks to the ways in which Native women collectively care for our communities. Through acts of creation, nurturing, leadership, love, and protection carried out in infinite forms, our grandmothers, aunties, sisters, cousins, nieces, and friends collectively care for our communities. As a suite, these works speak to the importance of kinship roles and tribal structures that emphasize the necessity of extended family, tribal, and communal ties as meaningful and significant relationships necessary for the rearing of healthy and happy individuals and communities. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe for more High Point Editions videos. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Stay tuned for more press process videos where we show you behind the scenes content into High Point Editions Pro Shop.